What up, Pisces? What up, Pisces? Look, I moved all the way here, so the sun wasn't in the video, but the sun's going to be in the video, okay? This is for Pisces, monthly, sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever, who had her, who had her, who had her, whoever. Bars. <laughs> um, hit that like. Even before the video starts, just subscribe and hit the like, and then you can undo it if you want to. No, don't do that. <laughs> subscribe if you want to. Like if you like it. Um, we're going to get into your month under the constellation Sagittarius Pisces. The sun has been in my video today. I changed the perspective. I'm not even going to talk about the other thing. If you see my other videos about where they at, because every time I talk about them, they come and interrupt this. So if it happens, we'll deal with it when we get there. All right, Pisces and all the lurkers, any placements, What's going on for y'all? Mm. Y'all really trying to manifest. I'll just tell you right now. I'm getting focused too on, on stability. Mm. Yeah, we're focused on our happiness here. We have the hermit. The King of Pentacles, the uh, Page of Wands, the Magician, and the Sun. This Hermit here, mixed with the King of Pentacles, for me, this is giving stability. Going introspectively, spending time alone, really focusing on stability. I'm getting stability more than anything is of importance to you right now. The Page of Wands, the Magician, and the Sun. I think you're hunkering down, trying to take all this free-spirited, you know, research, information, active energy and rein it in to be the magician here for your happiness. There's a big focus on manifesting what you want. There's that sun right here on what gives you peace. And you're in your head about it. And it's not just money, it's stability. So the really mature, important things that you want out of life long term. And you're trying to find the right way to do that by... Um, it's just putting all your energy into manifesting that you are in control of your life and how are we gonna get there? How are we going to get there this month? Hmm. I'm also getting that you're looking for a clue. Look at me. I think y'all are going deeper spiritually. So if you're religious, you're kind of you know, you're focusing more on that. If you're spiritual, you're focusing, if there, it feels researchy for some reason, like that could be because it's Sag's energy, right? In the constellation above us. Um, but, and I'm also getting prioritizing, but it feels like you're really trying to understand who you are. That's what I mean by the by the spirituality aspect of things. Pisces. That's weird. I just pulled um the high priestess. Yeah, I gotta say it now because I, I don't know if I'm gonna forget. You got the four pentacles here with the high priestess. I don't think I've ever had this feeling for this card before. I feel like y'all being such an intuitive sign dreamers uh trusting that i'm feeling this is giving me together like uh, like you're trying to separate what's real and what's in your head and that's odd for me because y'all are so good at trusting your intuition and it, i'm getting like questioning yourself 
something is not working out for you. I think that's why you got this stability here. So got the five of pentacles. So you're out in the cold here. It's not feeling like it's been good financially. Um, because unfortunately we need finances to have stability in this current society and world, right? So they're going to be tied together. You're holding close what you have, but I think you're trying to take a realistic approach, not just a, as much of a free approach as you would, because you haven't been feeling it, Pisces. You haven't been feeling it. And this month we're going inside. We're doing deep dives, deep researches into what's important, who's important, who am I? What do I ultimately want and how do I manifest that? Hmm. Yeah. The star card here, manifesting that star. You have the sun and the star card. I say because this five of pentacles feels like really cold. It does feel cold. They're in the snow. They're outside, right? It's the outside in the cold kind of card. And always at the end, you get the star and the sun, right? There's a lot of intuition with the high priestess and the magician. And there's something, it feels like, it feels like to me that to you, this, your fate relies on you and you're maybe coming to terms with there's things that you don't understand about yourself or maybe you've been too i don't want to say wishy-washy just too much out of the bounds of reality that we need to have a certain structure even to obtain certain things the thing that things just don't happen i think that's the realization that we're getting here King of Swords. All right. I hope that this has happened and is not happening. Okay. Um, you have the King of Swords here with the Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands. It seems like you just got blindsided. You just got blindsided with the Eight of Swords by something. I know I was saying financial before because it does feel like that, right? There's no, this lack of stability. But this here, Sag, uh, Sag, might be a Sag. <laughs> this here, Pisces, is um like a legal authority. So it's like you're being blindsided by some sort of legal authority. Um which is making you rethink and come to a different understanding. Okay, so if that didn't happen yet, that will happen. This is going to happen, right? This like, what do I mean by a legal authority blindsides you? Like, as small as you get a ticket to, you get served to, you go through a divorce or you get divorce papers or you have legal troubles or you get fired or something that you weren't expecting to happen okay but it happened or will happen and it makes you reevaluate come to a different understanding about what's important here it does put you on the outs right it puts you in a less stable place so now we're reevaluating now we're digging deep and trying to manifest what it is we really want because it feels like it wasn't worth it it feels like it gave you strife and it wasn't worth it pisces i think that's specific for people that really need to hear it so i'm gonna pull oracle cards i'm not gonna go deep for this month because i feel like you're so focused and you're supposed to be focused because you're gonna get here, 
By the end of the month, you're already on the way here. The end of the month under Sagittarius, which is really the end of next month, okay? So not the end of November, the end of December. So you be you'll begin to manifest that. And obviously, these are all opportunities for you to learn lessons, right? Because we want to be on that path. I also get don't question yourself because I think I, on one hand, you're giving this. On one hand, you're giving I know how to manifest what I want. And on the other hand, you're giving I don't know. Do I know? We need introspection. We need a little bit of alone time to get our ducks in a row. Be careful, though, for that piece of mail. For that call to the uh, dean's office, if you will. Let's get some goddess oracle energy. Oh, little. Why are they giving me like eight cards? Okay. <laughs> you have Artemis, which is focus. You have Gaia which is earth and you have flow which is Rhea so flow earth focus stay focused here stay grounded with the earth right and let it play out let your mind play out let the situation play out it's not to be combative against it and stay focused. Stay focused on manifesting how you want it to be. And let's get a animal energy for y'all here. Pisces. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna pick another one. But you have mouse energy. So. Mice are just so frantic and busy and frantic and busy and frantic and busy. They really are. Um, and they're prey and they're nervous. If that's the energy that you're in, you need to get out of it. Yes, into some more peacock energy. That's what we're doing. We're going from the mouse. We're going mouse to peacock, mouse to peacock, mouse to peacock. We're going prey to predator. You are beautiful. You can manifest. Um, you're unique. But you're in this nervous energy. You got to get out of that by focusing, by being grounded, by going with the flow of your intuition, not self-doubting. Because I'm getting that big. Not doubting yourself. No matter, I don't care how peaceful or how zen or however, whatever the fuck you are. Everybody goes through shit. It's how we're handling these situations to still move towards that happiness, that inner peace. Okay? And unfortunately, we have to do that alone. I think for a lot of you, there is a burden to be stable. So you're either taking care of somebody or you're a provider in a sense. Um... Yeah, so listen, Pisces, y'all gonna get through it, we gonna get through it. Um, and this is the part where I think you're blind a little bit to that struggle usually comes when we go through it. We can't see why we were struggling, but in the end, it made sense. In the end, we had to in order to get there. People just like the good stuff, but they don't see how if this didn't happen and this didn't happen, you wouldn't have been on that trajectory. And I'm telling you, this has to do with that trajectory. So keep focused on this. Stay focused on that. Get out of the mouse energy. Be this big, bold bird right here. Okay? Y'all be good. Okay, Pisces, and check me back, subscribe, like, let me know how y'all feeling, um, and I'll check y'all back next week. Deuces!